Hallo, ich bin's wieder, okay, so neu Haram. Hier mit meinem Let's Play von Felix White Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. Und im letzten Part haben wir äh, hoffenweise neue Charaktere getroffen. Unter anderem Norma de Plum, die eine psychische Blockade hat. Und Marlon Rhymes, der sich um die Fütterung der Fische kümmert. Fütterung der Fische, was? Fütterung der Tiere kümmert. Und ein neues, Be ein bekanntes Gesicht wieder getroffen. Perfey. Die kleine, süße Pearly. Oh. Und ja, sie ist inzwischen etwas älter geworden. Sie dürfte jetzt so ungefähr 17 sein. Wenn ich mich nicht täusche. Ja, ist sie auch. Na gut, dann... Lass uns mal mit Pearl reden. What are you doing here, Pearls? My summer camp is here on a field trip. I've never been to such a big aquarium before, so I was really looking forward to it. But then that incident happened, and the police just finished questioning me. Oh, I see. Um, Mr. Nick, who is that lady next to you? I'm Athena Sykes. I'm a new lawyer at the Right Anything Agency. Oh, how do you do? My name is Pearl Fay. My cousin and my friends call me Pearly. Pearly it is then. It it that that there. Pearly it is then. Nice to meet you. So, how did the two of you meet? Well, you know how we used to travel to Europe to study their legal systems, Pearls. I met Athena on one of those trips. Ja, ich kann mir schon denken, sie ist noch ein bisschen auf, das, auf dem Shipping-Gebiet von wegen Phoenix und ihre Cousine Maya. So, tell me more about how the two of you met in Europe. Hey, I thought I was supposed to be asking the questions here. A long time ago, Mr. Wright helped me out of a difficult gen. That's when I started to think about becoming a lawyer like him. So you're like her mentor, huh, Mr. Nick? Yeah, something like that, I guess. Mr. Wright is the whole reason I am who I am today. He was the one who told me my knowledge of psychology could help people in court. Gee, Mr. Nick, it looks like you've become a real adult since the last time I saw you. I've always been an adult the entire time. I've known you. I've known you, Pearls. Eben. Aber na ja. Well, would you look at that? Rifle loves you! She sure does seems to be attracted to pearls. <laughs> I'm so glad she likes me. Penguins are so adorable, aren't they? I even bought myself a little penguin calendar here at the aquarium gift shop. I have it hanging from my back already. Oh, how cute! A calendar in the shape of a penguin! That calendar is a real hit with all our female visitors. I even have one myself. But the rest of the staff thinks it's too cutesy. I guess it doesn't really fit the whole rough and tumble pirate image very well. But, hmm. Why does this calendar smell kind of like fish? What do you... What do you mean, Mr. Nick? Please don't be rude. Uh-oh. I got pearls mad. Nie ein gutes Zeichen, wenn man Pearl böse macht. Und was ist jetzt gerade mit dem Sound los? Moment, bitte. Also, ich weiß nicht, woher das jetzt kommt. Diese komischen Störungen. Vielleicht wird es ja jetzt besser. Äh, ja, ich habe jetzt auf jeden Fall diesen Kalender. Oh, Pearl, nicht böse gucken. Ich frag ja schon was anderes. So, you were looking for Rifle, too? That's right. I was trying to help Mr. Marlon, the animal keeper. Come here, Rifle, come on! She went towards Ola instead. Ah! Why can't I get Rifle to like me? Maybe you should quit chasing after her with that skull of yours. Mr. Nick, how could you speak to a lady so rudely? Uh-oh, I got pearls mad. Again. Ah, oh, 
Jetzt hat sich's wieder gebessert. Vielleicht müsste ich Pearls öfter böser machen. Why don't you try to get Rifle to take some food from you? Oh, great idea! And I have just the thing to offer her too. Ja, ich kann mir schon denken, was das ist. Moment, bitte. Jetzt musste ich schon wieder das Zeug suchen, einfach weil ich dumm bin und blind und hier, hab Fisch. Rifle, I have a present for you. It's chock filled with love. Here you go. Hey. Hey, Ola ate my love filled fish. At least it looks like she enjoyed it though. I think Ola and I just had a bonding moment. Wie heißt das so schön? Liebe geht durch den Magen. Friendship blossoming with the exchange of some food. Oh, isn't it moving, Mr. Nick? I think moving might be going a bit far. Anyway, how did you get Rifle to come to you so easily, Pearls? I heard Rifle was attracted to the smell of fish. Mr. Nick! Are you saying I smell like fish? Uh, maybe just a little. Yes. Hmm... I guess I need to change my clothes. That's odd. I wonder why Pearl smells like she's holding a bucket of fish. Hmm. Ola doesn't usually want to eat at this time of day. And we've even been giving her more food than normal at her regular meal times lately. Huh? Okay, what's up to? Is there something wrong with all our feeding habits lately? Yeah, something's weird. The new guy, Marlon, feeds all the other animals besides Orla. But the captain and I, her trainer, are responsible for feeding Orla. It was the captain's turn to feed Orla this morning. But Orla keeps coming to me and signaling she's still hungry. She wants my fish, shock filled with love. How long are you going to keep saying that? She sure, sure is excited to make a new friend. But don't think the captain would have forgotten to feed Orla. Sehr merkwürdig. Rival and that big creature there certainly seem to love each other. This is Orla the Orca. Rifle and Orla are best friends. They belong together like clownfish and a sea animal. Care to phrase that in a way us non-biological majors can understand? Er hat noch nie Findet Nemo geguckt. Oh, so this Orca is the suspect. I read in a book once that Orcas eat penguins. Don't you worry about that. Orla here is really gentle, and she never eats anything but fish. What the fuck? Rampaging penguin. Rampaging penguin. Man, die Arme. She is an old sweetheart. As a matter of fact, she even tolerates rifle picking on her. It's true, she does seem very gentle. She hardly seems like a killer whale. As lawyers, we have to do something we can to save this beautiful, gentle creature. Wow, you're going to defend her in court? She's quite a defendant, isn't she? She's the biggest defendant we've ever had. Literally. Oh, Pearls, I have a big favor to ask. What is it, Mr. Nick? It's about my Magatama. Its spiritual power seems to have vanished. Oh, that Magatama brings back memories. I remember putting my spiritual power into it. That was so many years ago. I guess that's why it's almost out now. There you go, Mr. Nick. It should be fine now. 
Thank you, Pearls. Now I can break Psyclox again. <laughs> I'm glad I could help. Well, I think I'll go find Mr. Marlon now. I have to bring Rifle to him. Okay. Tschüss, Pearly. Hab dich lieb, du süßes kleines Ding. <lacht> da kommen wieder Muttergefühle in mir hoch. Pearly sure seems right at home at this aquarium. Hm, you're right. But didn't she say this was her first time here? Apparently, that girl was in the staff corridor earlier this morning. That's why the detective was questioning her. What was Pearls doing in the staff corridor? I don't know. I thought she was Marlon's friend or something. The staff corridor, huh? Something about that doesn't sit well with me. Naja, zumindest ein Update. Well, if it bothers you, why don't you just ask her about it? Yeah, good idea. Let's go catch up with her. Na dann. 20. Juli, Shipshape Aquarium, Aquatunnel. Looks like Mr. Rhymes and Pearls are talking. Oh, who I base small fries was the clutch with the assist. Rhymes and Ruffle reunion are tender and ending in bliss. No animals creep, crime and rain gonna get cut. Mad props, small fry, this case is now shut. Yo, 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 ho, ho! <laughs> it was my pleasure. See you again sometimes, Raffle. Okay, let's go, Raffle. See you, small fry. Oh, Mr. Nick, I didn't see you here. Kein Problem. Na komm, lass mal talken. Hey Pearly, you and Mr. Rhymes seem to be very, really good friends. Could you tell us more about your relationship? Uh, well, I... Na, das ist jetzt sicher schnell erledigt. Um, Pearls, why do I see a Psyclock? Um, I'm sorry, Mr. Nick, but I really shouldn't talk about it. Hmm, I don't really feel right about digging into Pearl's affairs, but she was here at the aquarium at the time of the incident. Whatever she's hiding could help us in court. Sorry, Pearls, but I have to use my Magatama on you. Okay, then, fürs erste Mal in diesem Spiel, Magatama Zeit! Boom. A psy clock. A lock on a person's heart that only I can see. The deeper the secret is hidden, the more locks there will be. Pearls only has one lock, so I should be able to undo it fairly easy. But if I make a mistake, I'll be locked in a loop and won't be able to move forward. So I'll heißen the... Die Funktion wurde jetzt insofern genervt, dass man keine, äh, dass man für Healthbar aussehen nichts mehr verliert innerhalb der Investigation, sondern man so lange weiter versuchen, bis man kotzt. Irgendwie, ich weiß nicht, wie ich das finden soll, aber pff, na gut. Okay, time to give it a try. Na dann. Lakade. Relation to rhymes. Pearls, you have to tell me about your relationship with Mr. Rhymes. Relationship? There's no relationship between Mr. Marlin and me. We're just a visitor to the aquarium and an animal keeper at the aquarium. That's all. But there are areas where ordinary visitors to the aquarium don't get to go. You were here before the incident occurred, weren't you? Ja, wie uns Sascha vorhin gesagt hat, der Staff Corridor. Yes, the 
that's right. But how do you know? Someone told me you were there. I got confused and went the wrong way. I didn't know it was a corridor just for the staff. But it's, that's all it was, Mr. Nick. I didn't have anything to do with Mr. Marlon. Sounds reasonable. I guess I'd better move on to my next topic. Actually, there's something else I've been wondering about, Pearls. Why do you smell like fish? Fish? What makes you think I smell like fish? Well, there is a certain someone who convinced me it wasn't my imagination. Na dann, äh, wo haben wir es denn? Na, oh, so süße Profilbilder. Ja, es war Rifle. Ich meine, sie mag den Geruch von Fisch und sie kommt immer wieder zu Pearl, weil sie nach Fisch riecht. Uh, Rifle? She's apparently very attracted to the smell of fish. Rifle didn't want anything to do with Athena, even though she had a bunch of fish. So why then was Rifle so attracted to you, Pearls? Uh, I don't know. Hmm, Look like sh looks like she's still not ready to talk about it. You had an object with you that smelled fishy too. In fact, I think it was something to do with your secret. Und zwar dieser Kalender. The fishy smelling calendar has something to do with your secret, doesn't it, Pearls? Uh, uh, I... I can't lie to you, Mr. Nick. I'll tell you about me and Mr. Marlon and about the calendar. Danke, Pearl. Du bist ein gutes Kind. Naja, ein guter Teenager. Wir wollen ja politisch korrekt sein. Phew, it was only one luck, but it sure took some work. Ach, ging doch eigentlich. Gibt schlimmere. Please tell me about your relationship with Mr. Rhymes. I became distracted by the gift shop almost as soon as we got to the aquarium. Before I knew it, everyone else had moved on and I got lost. I was so embarrassed to be lost at my age. Oh, Pearls. I know big crowded places are hard for you. I sort of panicked and went down the wrong corridor. I ended up in the food prep room and that's where I met Mr. Marlon. I really started, startled him when I called out to him. He jumped so much he startled me too and I lost my balance and fell down. Oh, Mr. Nick, I spilled so many fish all over the floor. Oha. Na dann, das würde alles erklären. Oh man, nettes Missgeschick. I guess that explains why you smell fish fishy. Pardon the pun. Yes, and my calendar fell off my back and got buried in all the fish too. But it doesn't explain why Paul wanted to keep it a secret. Ja, warum eigentlich? Ich meine, ist doch nicht Tragisches dabei. Okay, sie hat sich geschämt deswegen, aber... Hm. Why did you want to hide your meeting with Mr. Rhymes? Well, I didn't want him to get in trouble over the feed sanitation regulation because of me. And Mr. Marlon said he didn't want anyone to know he was in a food prep room. Huh? Why not? What was he doing in there? Before I spoke to him, he was staring at the calendar. But because of me, he dropped his calendar too. He had to search for it amongst the fish. Wait a minute. This calendar of yours, it already has written in it. It does? But it didn't write anything in it yet. There's something written here under today's date. Meet the captain at the orca pool at 7 a.m. Maybe my calendar and Mr. Marlon's got mixed up. Pearls, about what time did you run into Mr. Rhymes? I think it was about 10.15 when he had info the desk announced that I was last. So I must have first gone into the prep room at about 10.10. I see. Do you mind if I hang on to this calendar for a while? Yes. Shut up! 
Weißt du? Da mache ich... Dann beende ich schon die Aufnahme, nicht? Einfach... Pff, aus Jux? Und dann schreit er mir einfach rein. Ich meine, seriously, das mit... Äh, dass er bei Majora's Mask dabei war, ich dachte, das hätten wir jetzt geklärt. So viel dazu. Das, das hat ein Nachspiel. It might be a clue to the victim's movements before he was killed. Alright. But be sure to give it back to Mr. Marlon later, okay? Kein Thema. Wird gemacht. Good. Now maybe I'm ready to move Mr. Plume's Psyclox too. Sehr gut. Wenn wir sonst nichts weiter zu tun haben, dann gehen wir jetzt zum Papo Danger. Und beenden hier nochmal den Part. Na dann, egal ob positiv oder negativ, Bewertung immer gern gesehen. Das war's von meiner Seite. Wir sehen uns das nächste Mal wieder. Sehr geist.